All right, this one's gonna be some hotkeys that I've been wanting to do for a while, but didn't know if it was possible. Long story short, I figured it out, and so give me some examples here. If you're working a command line, you know that, uh, let's say for example, you're using your package manager, and we'll search for videos here, and let's say for example, uh, you know, you wanna search for another string, you usually have to do is hit up arrow, and then you hit the fucking backspace or delete key here, and you search for something else like music and if you want to search for another thing guess what you got to do is hit the up arrow and then delete the last portion and so search for something else like VLC that always bugs the fuck out of me because you have to hit the up arrow you have to do the delete key to uh, or backspace to delete the fucking thing always annoys me um, that we didn't have like a something shorter I mean you can use like Vim or Emacs hotkeys but even that's still not fast enough for me I mean, I do have uh, Vim in the command line, but still, like I said, it's not fast enough. So, these are the key bindings I started using. And basically, whatever your previous command is, it's going to take a look at that. And, um, you know, you can pre-fill out which portion of the command that you want to use. So, for example, this was our last command, right? This uh, Pac-Man SS and VLC it has three arguments in there. So, if I want just the first argument, which is the Pac-Man, I use out one. And that's it. It'll just pre-fill out that. If I want Alt two, it'll pre-fill out the the first two. If I want Alt three, I do Alt three, and then it goes out to um, you know the VLC and all that. Uh, if you had more, then you can do a four and five and so on and so forth. But um, um, if your last command is only up to three, you can't do that. So if I hit Alt four here, it doesn't work. See that? Because our last command only goes up to three here. Um, so that's why I like using this. I just hit Alt 2 and I can pre fill out, you know, just the portion I want. I don't have to delete anything and I can search for like Tmux or something real quick, you know. And if I want to do it again, I do Alt 2 and I do Vim or something, Alt 2, games, real quick. So I don't have to delete anything, just hit one hotkey and boom, uh, you know, it works. So. Uh, you can do this with any other command, like I said, it's based upon whatever it is you last executed. So if I executed something else, let's say uh, surf raw, we'll search for some man pages here or whatever, tmux. Alright, this one is pulling from uh, manda.org here. So I executed that, and let's say I want to search for another, um, what was that, uh, man page or something, vim here. Real quick, it pre-fills out for us, All right? I just hit Alt 2 and then I just search for something else, let's say uh, MPD or something, real quick. Um, if I want to do something else, let's say search for packages this time, we do Tmux. Right, so now that's in our history, we can just do Alt 2 and look at that, it pre fills out the SR and PKGS here, and I can search for something else like uh, Vim or something. Um, quickly right so that's what that does and uh, this one works in bash too so let me show you that in bash here let's open up our bash just because uh, some of my users still use bash I actually recommend you use uh, Z shell but it's up to you anyways how does that look in here so let's say I do uh, pacman ss and let's say I search for videos so that will be our previous command we're using uh, pacman right this is our previous command. Now, if I want to just get the first two arguments, hit Alt 2. Now, this one's a little different. It actually has to execute the, um, well, this actually doesn't execute it. Basically, it echoes it out. So, uh, this is the actual command, but it echoes out, you know, the um, Pac-Man SS here. And then you can search for something else you want. Let's say I search for Tmux, and I do Alt 2, search for something else like Vim, right, Alt 2. So, this is how it works in Bash here. Um, you know, search for ZSH or something, so on and so forth. So that's Bash, and that's ZSH. A little bit different because ZSH has better autocomplete, and Bash doesn't have a great autocomplete. Anyways, up to you. I'll give you the code for both here. Let's delete that here, and we'll do Z shell here. So this is the key bindings for here. Uh, all you gotta do is you know bind key dash s, and I bind it to Alt one. Alt 2, Alt 3, and this is basically the uh, the code for it. It's actually using the band codes. If you're ever familiar with pseudo exclamation mark, exclamation mark, 
um, this is part of the bank code but uh, you can actually just strip out parts of the arguments that you want in your history so this is the actual command and in here you don't actually have to execute it you just have to uh, hit tab and it'll all complete it so that's what I like about uh, Z shell and that's how that works in here right so that's the code I'll post you in the description for Z shell and as far as for bash um, Let's see here. It's open up our bash RC here. Bash is pretty much the same thing. Uh, you do need this other code up here. This one is the history verify. What this will allow you to do is that it will take the previous command, and unlike the you know pseudo bang bang code, um, that one executes it as pseudo or whatever or whatever other commands. You don't have to use pseudo, but uh, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Let me type that in here so you know what I'm talking about here. If you ever use uh, sudo bang bang, right, um, that one will actually execute whatever your last command is in sudo. Well, what this one does is that it will not execute it. It will just allow you to print it out in your terminal and you can edit it. So that's what this one does. It will allow you to look at it first before you execute it, right? And that's what we're going to use down here. Um, we use the bank codes too. We bind it to Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, or 4, 5, whatever, so on and so forth. And what I'll do is that it'll, you know, do this command, but it's not going to execute it. It's just going to print it out in the command line and allow us to edit it uh, with our string that we want. So hopefully that explains it. Anyways, post this in the description if you wanted to use it. I actually would recommend it because I do like it. And uh, I've been using it for like a week or two now and I like it already um, so that's it for this one for those use cases like let's say you're searching for you know packages that you do in the same string over and over and you you hate doing the up arrow and deleting the fucking thing every time um, this saves you a little bit a bit of time if you want to do that anywho that's the feature that's it for this one